All right, we're checking out the only game where you get to bludgeon mankind with crippling debt. It's City Smash 2. City Smash 2 takes a simple concept and makes it way more involved. Here we are given a whole city as well as tools to ruin everyone's life, such as helicopters or an alien spacecraft. Now, the thing I love about this game is that you can have your spacecraft, okay, and you can drive it around and everything looks fine. And if you're just like a terrible alien, you can drive this totally inappropriately. Like you can get too low, knock a tree over, and that's gonna be debt that the city's gonna incur. Look at that tree right there. Resting against the building. So sad. How about this building over here? What happens if we don't parallel park correctly? <laughs> oh, it's a good day when your when your UFO is doing barrel rolls, baby. I love that you get paint blemishes on this thing while you crash with it. So real quick, I mean, I just have to, I, I gotta test this real fast. What happens if I just try and land in the middle of all the other vehicles? Am I allowed to, or does it blow up or? Oh yeah, you could just land right in the middle of all the cars. No problem, just clearing out traffic over here. Oh, all right, apparently. So there you go. So, so far we have incurred $166,000 of debt. Now my goal today, is going to be to erase every single thing in the city. I want to know what the maximum debt we can accrue is by destroying literally everything. Also, I do have to mention, even though I just had fun running my, my spaceship into people like some sort of alien bludgeon, there is an actual gun on this thing. Oh, and a tractor beam. Oh, that's hot. Where do the cars go when I tractorize them? Like, do they get sucked up into my stomach? Oh, I'm just, I'm just sucking up everything. There we go. Yep, come on, everyone. Let's all do this together. Fantastic. Yep, that's great. Oh, I didn't, oh, hold on. I kind of lost it there. Everything's okay. I want to grab this column, this tornado of... <laughs> oh my god! This tornado <laughs> of bad choices and kind of move it over here to a building. Hold on, let's yeah, just kind of, oh, oh, this way. There we go. I want to park you guys on the top. Road rampage, cheap and unlocked. I want to park you guys on top of the building. There we go. Perfect. See, now it's just like a parking garage, sort of. I mean, it's a parking garage that's on fire. Now beyond that, like I said, we do have a gun. The gun goes from, you know, just basically a tickle, which is this, that does absolutely nothing at all. Also, did someone just explode that had nothing to do with the rampage I was just a part of? But we hold this down and we hold it down and we hold it down. We can release it and that is what you get. You can hold this down until your spaceship just blows up. Like, you can just overpower it, and then it just dies. <laughs> $1 million in damage! Oh, we changed the climate, too. Look at that. Mother Nature is like, I'm out of here. The world kind of moves, too, which I really enjoy. So as you do stupid things, people kind of comment about it. Such as, witness the most epic battle of tree versus fire, and a chunk of my wall just disappeared. <laughs> well, you're gonna be losing a lot more than that. I feel kind of bad just because I left this gigantic mess of burnt out cars chilling out down here. Kind of a random thing too, but if you get super close to the ground, you can actually take control of one of the vehicles and just kind of, oh my God. Oh, oh yeah, I am fantastic at this driving thing. I was gonna say and drive it around and I immediately got it stuck underneath the light pole. How much is this car worth? Oh, not very much. Yeah, let me, let me grab. <laughs> so, I know, I know you probably saw what happened to the last car, but just trust me on this. I wanna know if I can get a car into a building. Not through like a front door or anything. I mean, just solidly into a building. Pick a building, pick a direction, and how deep can one car get? About that deep. Uh-oh, I think we got another tree versus fire thing going on. Bumpy drive today. Well, that's what happens when part of the roadway is missing because I landed a alien spaceship on it. The truth is out there, UFOs seen in the skies. I think I just realized too that the, the alien spaceship looks like garbage all the time. I don't know if the paint job, you know, it's got that uh, urban camo style paint job on it or not. Yeah, there we go. I'm clearing all of the greenery out. I kind of want to... 
I was gonna say, I kind of want to see if I could saw my way through a building, but it can't take that much damage. So you can just give yourself a tank. The tank, of course, falls from heaven, because why wouldn't it? All right, tank versus UFO. What does more damage? I'm assuming UFO. Decent. Oh, you have a you have a machine gun, too. Oh, that's hot. Oh, you can clean up some traffic with this real fast. This is a really good reason to have a very, very short car, because if you're short enough, I can't, the bus services can't, what do you think? If your car is short enough, I can't shoot it. Hold on, if I, if I core out the bottom of this building, will it just float, like just incredibly float in midair? Because as of right now, I don't think that this is how physics works. All right, hold on, we only got a little ways more to go. Oh yeah, we don't need physics where we're going. Two toothpicks cannot, oh, never mind! I just turned a two-story building into a one-story building. Mm, oh, that's that was interesting. Not really sure how I football kicked one of the vehicles into the stratosphere, but let's not worry too much about that. There we are. Just gonna shoot shoot back from where I came, back at the heavens. I need to arc this thing down like a lot. There we go. That is perfect. I like how there's one tiny little bit of building just chilling out over here. It's like I forgot about it from a while ago. Let's see if we can make this come down. Yep. Timber. <laughs> I'm leaving the solar smash sign up for last. I, I, well, I'm gonna try to. I don't make any promises, but. Okay, so far we're up to a million and a half, but those are still low dollars. What is this, like a, like a bomber? Oh, it is. Thermal, normal. Oh, so how big's your bomb? Okay, pretty pretty decent. That took out, you know, good eight, nine cubicles of, wor of working space there. Some people won't have to come in tomorrow. You have the 40 millimeter. Kind of more like a tickle, I would say. And you have just a gun. <laughs> it's just a gun. My question is, can I make a smiley face on the ground with this? If the answer is no, I am not satisfied. I am not satisfied. Oh, oh. Oh, I don't know if giving me a helicopter is a good idea. Oh, and you can bring this up and down too. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> we all know where this has to go. Oh, what can go wrong? Just want to see if the blades can shave the trees. Mm hmm. I mean, I know I got my pilot's license, but it wasn't for a helicopter. <laughs> all right, how do the guns work on this thing? Ah, uh, they're not bad. Mainly it's just due to how fast they fire. The question is like, what is the, what is the best object to cause the most amount of damage as quickly as possible? I'm trying to be very efficient, you see. Well, let me just see if I can take this building down. Perfect landing, 10 out of 10 landing. I guess I could also Blackhawk down. I'm not down yet. I'm fine. Everything is okay. I'm one of those rare ground helicopters, right? I try not to leave the ground too far. There we go. I love how there's nothing left of the vehicle when it explodes, not even a slight corpse or something. My bush is on fire. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> Fractured my rib sneezing. Did I cause that or I think he just has a sneezing problem. Like he, he just has bad allergies. Get to the chopper. Someone had to do that. No, bird in the sky. Bird like a cacao bird or bird like a helicopter crashing into a building. I'll hide in a fridge. Then the thermals won't detect me. Well, now we can move over to natural disaster. Now, as you can imagine, natural disasters should get us a lot of money and damage. Plus we get to see the money rise up while we use the natural disasters. There we go. We'll just start a couple right in the middle here just to see what happens. Oh, yeah. This building has been wanting to go down for a while. Minor damage. Minor. What are you doing here? Hold on. What is, what is this? I didn't know that you you could just come on to my, my spot while I'm... Hold on a second. Can I hit this guy with a comment? Oh, we we're, were close. Hold on. Yeah! <laughs> If it makes that guy feel any better, he totally protected that building right there. What do they have to say about this? Someone took care of the ads. Oh, is that because I bought the ads off or because I murdered them with a meteorite? That's 
a giant crater. Those annoying lights finally came down. I didn't realize people hated this much of their city. Was that, is that just the, cr oh my God. So, um, is there like a maximum depth that the crater goes or? It basically creates a volcano. It's not so much that it goes deeper, it's that the area around it gets taller. I can make a literal volcano in the middle of the city. Now I know you might be like, well, Gray, if you make a if you make a, <laughs> a volcano, what are you possibly going to put inside of it? Oh here, hold on. Don't worry, we're not gonna leave we're not gonna leave the volcano doing absolutely nothing. Yeah, give me the whole building. There we go. This is normal. This right here is how UFOs work. And let her rip. <laughs> oh, let me go ahead and clear this up. It's taking up way too much space. Now there's stuff inside the volcano. That awkward moment when you mistake a meteor for your neighbor's drone. How many of these did they write up? Meteor takes up skydiving hobby, sets new record for fastest free fall. You would figure that the people inside of this city would have this level of sense of humor in order to deal with this oh we've, we've gone all the way into winter i've been torturing these people for an entire season wow i forget that there's just this pile of cars sitting in the middle all right so let's do a few more earthquakes i'm gonna do like uh well as many as i can get done in this corner over here yeah here we go that's uh three million dollars in damage <laughs> excellent you know what let's get one right in the middle right over here with all the vehicles i'm gonna God, I, I would get down further, but it's enough to make you seasick. Can I straighten this up with this camera angle? Yeah, this camera angle's not too bad. Time to loot! <laughs> I'm all shook up. Did anybody else feel that? I mean, for a short period of time, the people inside of this building did in fact feel that. All right, one meteorite versus one building. Will it get rid of the whole thing? Right about the same power, I would say, as the UFO. It just seems to have infinite weight because nothing stops it. Like you, you take a big building like this one, we're gonna go to we're gonna go in kind of sideways. Look at that! All the way to the floor. You know, let me give you guys something to do. In case anyone's wondering, also I fixed traffic. Remember how bad the traffic was? A little tornado. Well, I say little tornado. I'm not sure how powerful the tornadoes really are. Was that was that someone's air conditioning unit that just got yeeted up into the sky? It's not so much a tornado as it is a black hole. <laughs> or some sort of a hungry beast because it literally took a bite out of the side of this building. Speaking of which, if I go over to this pile and I put a tornado on this, will the, oh, hold on. While the tornado's going, will it mess with, oh, it absolutely does. <laughs> oh, let me get lower so I can be right in the middle of the tornado. I actually can't get lower. The tornado is almost keeping me away. Yay. Being inside of a tornado is fun when you're an alien. Everything's fine. Can you, can you blow up this fountain or is this fountain just invincible for all of my, the fountain is not invincible and I feel kind of bad now. I'm picking up one of the solar smash signs. All right, I'm gonna, I, I gotta keep a few of them around, but I did want to grab this one and then use it to bludgeon a building to death. Come here. All right, now let's. Oh, it's really hard to drag. Come on, baby. Uh, bludgeon, bludgeon the bit. There we go. Kind of, it's, it's like using it like a tennis racket. So you cannot grab a building normally. I had to destroy the bottom struts and stuff in order to be able to pick it up. Because you can't do it. I had to know what happened if you put a tank on the top of the building. It weighs so much, it plummets directly to the ground with no additional help. All right, we're up to five million dollars. Still not enough. What does this do? This is a bomb. Doesn't seem that impressive. Running out of buildings to put stuff. Oh, is there a is there a limit to how many of these I can do, or not really? Is this going to crash the game? Is this going to crash my? Ca oh, all right. You know what? Sure. Oh, speaking of which, hold on. Yeet. Does anyone have any words before the yeet cannon is fired? C4 devices spotted in the city. 
why can't I lick my own elbow? These are the important questions. I don't know why you guys are talking about all the flashing red lights. Don't worry about it. It is not a big deal. JK. It is possibly a big deal. Wow, it is still blowing up. Okay, here we go. Oh, here's the yeet. <laughs> I love how it goes in water. <laughs> oh, that is... That is special. Okay, so we've yeeted. And is this a nuclear? I love how it goes from C4 to what looks like a nuke. Is this a nuke? Oh, it is! <laughs> oh my god! Wow, that may, uh... That may be the most amount of damage of anything that we've thrown so far. That looks like a black hole. It looks like a black hole. Is it a black hole? It is absolutely a black hole. Oh, uh, uh. well, you could be more than one black hole. Oh, the black holes regenerate pretty quick, to be honest with you. Give me all of the black holes. More. More. Who would not want to live in this city? Okay, the property values are super low. You got nothing to worry about. All right, so what does this do? Oh, it's like an EMP pulse. Like, here's the sign. And now I've shorted out the sign. So were there to be a helicopter kind of wandering around, I assume you could knock it out of the sky with this. And is this just like a beam? Ooh. Oh, it is. So out of all this I've seen so far, I think if you really want to clear out different parts of the city, you clearly want to use the nuke because it I think it covers the largest amount of area. You know, if if we're being paid specifically to cause as much havoc as humanly possible. Right after that, it's probably earthquakes just due to how fast you can quake. Now a little bit of everything's going. Oh, hold on, let's let's get let's get this moving around too while we're doing the earthquakes and everything else. Yeah, more earthquakes. Might as well get everything. There we go. And some meteorites coming down. This is when you have a really annoyed mother nature at this point. When she's throwing all of this at you, I can't even tell. I, I cannot figure out how that part of that building stayed up standing. That made absolutely no sense. I love too that even the destroyed pieces of building are worth some money. <laughs> Wonder what everyone has to say about the nuclear fallout. City attacked by newt. <laughs> time for an insta tan, nuclear tanning. That's the kind of tan that you only get one time. The awkward moment when your phone autocorrects hugs to bugs. No idea what that has to do with the fact that everyone just got nuked, but whatever. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Is there a giant mushroom outside of my window? Mm -hmm. Does this mean I'll be walking to school today? It's a little windy. Now, there's a couple of trees that are still existing, so we do have to get rid of that. I don't know if the black hole will eat up my pile of cars. Oh, it does! Oh, this is the perfect way to clean up the city then. I had no idea. I wasn't sure how I was going to get rid of all of these cars I've left around. Like I said, we need to delete every single thing in this entire game. Think of black holes as uh, nature's hoover. Thing. Oh, you trio of trees over here. You thought I forgot about you? Come on now. If you see scrap on the ground, you need a black hole. Look at that, right there. See those, see those light poles? Can't have those hanging around. Black hole, only way to take care of this stuff. Couple of trees, black hole. Reduces it down to atoms. I love black holes. Ah, weapon master two. I don't know if I'm so much as a master of weapons. I'm just someone who's prepared to use as many black holes as it will take to fulfill my destiny. I have painstakingly just sat here destroying everything and there is one light that was still chilling out and it had the gall to be a red light. Also really interesting, these metal gates cannot be black holed away. Oh, I was wrong. I did everything I could to get rid of them so we truly can erase everything on this entire board. And so I lifted them into the black hole and that worked. I had to put my ship inside the black hole. New to the city, what's good? This is the, we have not had any good messages because there's nobody left. So finally someone moved back into the city. I possibly just murdered them though. I have evaporated every single object 
in this city. And so the only thing left to do is to leave my calling card. It's so beautiful. <laughs> well, my fun removed humanity, and now there's no one left to talk about it because they're all gone. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Steve Smash 2. Until next time, stay foxy, much love.